All right, so we went and got wood. So the wood over on the left is what we got last week. And then we got some, just a little bit more today to make the garden boxes. So Talon's all set up with his fancy new saw that I'm sure he'll brag to you about. And he's just making cuts right now. So we measured out the space, the size that we want the garden boxes to be. So he's just measuring and cutting the wood. Um, so once the wood is all cut, we'll come back and he'll show you how he puts it all together. Tal, anything you want to say about your new saw? Well, there's so much to say, except that now I'm stoked because I can cut really, really wide pieces. It's a large blade with a slide so that I can pull it across and cut a very large piece from this edge of the blade to the fence, which is essentially a board twice as wide as we have here, one pass. So like 14 inches or so? Right, yep, one by 14, easy. And then most hardwood floors are about this wide, so I can now do it in just one nice, accurate cut, because my old saw was little, so I had to make a cut, flip the board over, re-aim, and hope that I would do okay, so. That's how he did our whole interior of our house, our hardwood floors. Yeah. What a champ. What a champ, so I'm pretty stoked, and it's quiet. I don't know if you can tell. With an electric brake. Super quiet, super safe, so I'm stoked. Yay, all right, so we'll come back once he's made all the cuts and show you how we put them together. Okie doke, so it looks like Talon made all the cuts for one of our gardens. Um, so Tal, do you just want to explain yeah, well, we're doing the a process? Bit. Sure. Um, the planter box that Leah wanted was 16 feet long, so we're going to need to splice a couple boards together. Uh, so here's the longest pieces at 12, these at 4, and essentially we're going to take this and scab it together. What right do you mean here. when you say scab? Uh, just take a butt joint. So they're going perfectly together, together perfectly flat. together, and then scab together just is just taking a block of wood on the other side that spans the gap and that these two will be screwed to. Um, and one thing that I was going to say, I was going to show you how I'm doing the ends to box in the planter box. So we're just going to pretend that this is just on its edge connected to these already. Um, but what we've done is Leah wanted it to be a foot wide. So what are we planting in this one? We're doing strawberries in this. So you know how strawberries are, they spread and they go wild and crazy. So I just, I wanted to make it pretty simple but long so that we can get all the strawberries in there and it's easy to pick. Um, yeah, and you'll see once we put it in, it's going to be between two raspberry rows. So it's going to make it a little bit easier access because it's skinnier, giving us more room on either side. Yeah, that's why. Okay. And so he oh, Bruno, Bruno is such a helper! <laughs> so I pre-cut a few uh, two-by-fours. Uh, it's just Douglas fir, the standard two-by-four material. And the reason why we're using this instead of just uh, more barn wood, is something new and fresh that Super will strong. receive the screw without yeah. splitting. Um, this barn was constructed from cedar, and it's been around a while. You can see the silvering um, quality wood. I mean, this was is 80-ish years old, not rotten quality thing, uh, but just something new and fresh for the screws to really bite into. Um, I pre-drilled this board because it is so short so that if I did it in the way the grain runs and how it's sun baked, uh, if I were to just put the screw in, it would crack along this grain line. So that's what I did here, just a simple pre-drill so we have holes and then the two by material cut to the height of the board and screw together. And um, now, essentially, I'm just going to do a, in a butt joint, nothing fancy here. 
Just going to be lining them up. Again, doing two pre drills and putting a screw in. So I'll just change out the drill on my chuck. Uh, chuck is the part that tightens and loosens around whatever driver or drill bit you're using. So I'm just, it's just simple box construction. We're not getting fancy here and lining things up. This isn't one of my pieces of furniture or anything. And this is a just Leah request. Just simple. So just drilling through the cedar. And he's not going into the fur. Correct. Douglas fur, is that right? That's so he just gets through the cedar. So it won't split. Bruno. Then I put my driver back in. Grab my favorite screws and put the drill on low. Because again, you don't want it cracking, right? And if yeah, you go just high, so you have more control and a slower gear. It's just like first gear in a car, nice and slow to pull yourself out of a driveway or whatever situation. And another one here, top and bottom, and I am screwing into essentially the edge here of the two by. Hi Bruno. <laughs> Bruno really likes to be in uh, action here. And there it is, just simple, simple easy peasy. Yep. And that's that. Perfect. Cool. So once it's all done we'll come back and show you um, what the final project looks like. So that's pretty simple and easy and Talon walked me through how to do it yesterday, so I would say that even I can do it. Of course. <laughs> yeah.